I'm in Tanzania doing snake training at the mines. I had a large forest cobra back in the bag. Unfortunate thing, these bags were made out of mosquito mesh instead of thick dark canvas. So you can see, yeah. And I picked the snake up to put him in the crate and the snake saw my hands through the bag and bit me through the bag. So, oh, th which is how most people get bit too, yeah. A lot of snake handlers get bitten like that. Yeah. yeah. And so he bit me through the bag. I went to the local clinic. The doctor knew nothing. I had to tell him what to do. Knew nothing? No, he'd never seen a snake bite in his life. I asked him if he got antivenom. His eyes was wide, he shook his head, he says there's nothing here. I go to the fridge, I open it, I scratch around and I find 10 ampules of Sanofi Pasteur. The French polyvalent for Africa is in his fridge. And uh, he gets very excited with this and uh, he wants to inject me and I said, these are the four things we look for in a neurotoxic bite. If one of those four happen, I take antivenom not before. So he sits, I lie on the gurney, after half an hour, I get very ill. I are vomit. you vomiting? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm okay. Half an hour later, I need the vomit bucket, I vomit the second time and 45 minutes later, I get ill again and I vomit the third time and 45 minutes after that, I get ill again and I vomit the fourth time. And now it's two and a half hours after the bite, I'm feeling better and so I decided, let me check if there's paralysis. So I get off the gurney, walk around, there's nothing, so I said, doctor, cheers, I'm out of here. So I went to the mess hall. I didn't have any appetite. I went to my room, phoned the wife. One. I sleep for two hours. Then knock at the door, wakes me. It's the doctor. And uh, he wants to uh, just check on me that I'm okay. And I said, look, you don't have to worry. I'm not going to die. This is a mild cobra bite. It doesn't need antivenom. There will be some tissue damage. But tissue damage, we look at a week after the bite. Oh. They left and then I couldn't sleep. Because of the pain, I was just awake the whole It was night. horrible pain. Yeah, it felt like you were holding your finger over a candle flame and you couldn't even move it. Non-stop. Yeah. 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 That's the best way to describe the pain. And next morning the finger was dead. You could stick a needle in it and there's, there's no feeling in it. And you knew it was going to have to come off? Well, I knew 15 minutes after the bite I was going to lose it. Oh, you, so before, when you were at the hospital you knew the finger was gone? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that already. Back in South Africa, um, eight days after the bite, the finger was stinking. I went to a hand specialist and he gave me local anesthetic while I'm lying on the gurney and we wait 20 minutes and after 20 minutes he cut that part off and I can go home again. <laughs> yeah. And then a month after the bite, there's some yellow stuff oozing out of the finger every day. It wouldn't heal. So I go back to the uh, hand specialist the bite, and uh, he opens it up finds out that the bone is soft. The bone? Yeah, and with his bone plier he then went in until he had shortened the bone and got to fresh clean bone and then he sewed it close and so there we go, everything is okay.